Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. The dogs are hunting mice and they seem to be preoccupied. So this is my opportunity to shoot this opener for today's video, which will be a continuation of the Firebase authentication series. And today we're just gonna cover the scenario where the user has forgotten their password and needs to reset it. And Firebase makes this very simple. You make one simple call, an email goes out from Firebase, they reset it and they're back in business. So that's what we're gonna put into our app today. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is where the app was when we left it last time. If you're just joining now, nothing too complex going on here. We've got two text fields, email, password, and the user can sign in if they have an existing account or sign up uh, if they do not. Um, and last time we added a verification email uh, as well. So after you sign up, you have to go verify your email before you are taken to the, the home screen. Uh, I'll put a link to a repo if you want to bring yourself up to speed here. Uh, you will need to connect a Firebase project. So I'll put a link also to the first video where we did that uh, if you want to get up to speed. Otherwise, you can just uh, watch and, and follow along. All right, so this is a row here with these two buttons. So I think what I'll do is just add another row below uh, with a flat button that says uh, forgot email. So I'll come down below this row here and just do another one. And actually I should use a text button. Oop, I think I actually needed to come outside of here. Oh, I messed that all up. There we go. All right, and I should use the new text button because they are phasing out flat button. Um, so the child will be a text widget that says, forgot password, question mark. All right, and we'll, so we'll have an on pressed, and what we'll do is we will navigate to uh, a new screen, which will uh, allow them to enter their email and then hit a button where they can uh, request that that email be, be sent out to them. Let's, uh, let's center that up. So outside of children here inside the row, I'm just going to do main access alignment, main access alignment, center. And so the new screen, basically, I want the same thing we have in here for login. I'm not going to want password. I'm not going to want um, some of these extra buttons, but I'm just going to take the login. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it inside screens and I'm going to rename it reset.dart. And I'm going to go in there and I'm just going to change login screen to reset screen. Um, I'm not going to need the password. Um, so let's get rid of that. In fact, actually, let's go back to login and let's navigate to that screen so we can see the changes uh, on the screen. So I'm going to go to login.dart. I'm going to come down here where I had this on press that was empty. And I'm just going to do a navigator. Of context. Uh, let's push and let's do a material page route with a builder context and we'll have that go to our reset screen. And let me just make sure I name that correctly reset screen. Come on now. There we go. All right. So I click on forgot password. I'm taken to my reset screen, which looks just like the login. And so let's come up to the top here and let's in the text, let's reset password. And we don't need password here for a variable. So we'll just have one private variable for email. We do want an instance of auth, so that's fine. We want to keep the email text field, but not the password. So we'll come down here and just take this whole padding widget out, which has a child of the text field. 
So we'll zap that. Um, we don't want this new row we added for a forgot password, so we can get rid of that. And so we've got the row here with sign in uh, button and a sign up button. We only need one of these, so let's zap one of these raise buttons. And let's repurpose this one. So this is going to be send request. So we'll click the button and send off the email request. And so we have got on press, we've got auth.sign in with email and password. Let's get rid of that. In fact, actually, let's clean out everything in this function. And let's change what our on press is going to do because our on press, we want it to send the request. Um, and then we probably want it to leave this page. So let's do auth. Send password reset email. And we need to pass it the email that we want to send to. So that's just our email from here. And then at that point, we probably want to go back to the login screen. So we can do navigator of context. And actually, at this point, we've pushed so we can just pop to get out of here. We don't need to specifically navigate to log in. And that should do it. So let me go back here. Let me just click forgot password. Let me enter my email. I'm going to hit send request. This would be a lovely spot for a snack bar or a toast or something that tells you we just sent you an email. Go and check your box. Uh, I have my email client off screen. I just got an email. I'm clicking the login. It's taken me to here and I can And it says I have reset my password. So let's check that out. That's not it. And it worked. So that was pretty quick and dirty. Uh, if you want to customize that a little bit, you do have some options here. So if you go to authentication and you go to templates, there are some templates for what the user is going to get when they get that password reset. Um, that's here. You can customize this a little bit. If you want to take it further than that, you need to start working in either some functions, some cloud functions, or set up an admin SDK uh, to be able to respond to those yourself. But if you're working within the Firebase framework, it's real easy, real simple. And that is how it's done. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, please like, subscribe, and we will see you in a future video.